Hi, this is Ms McDonald. I'm one of the development officers for St Augustine's and can't wait to meet you. We know you're coming up to see us this year and we're very excited to have you but things are really strange at the moment. We'd love you to come for a visit but we're aware that it can't happen. So what we thought we'd do is we're going to take you into school. So I'm going to take you on a virtual tour of St Augustine's, um, take you around, showing you the classroom, showing you where the departments are. Hopefully if you watch this a couple of times before you come up it'll help you get your bearings. Okay, so here we go. So, when you come in, this is where the, most of the buses come in, which is the rear of the school, okay? And when you come in, you come into this area here. We have a really nice outdoor seated area under the sails, give you a bit of shade. It's actually lovely to sit out here uh, for break and lunch times. This is our dining hall, as you can see. Um, see, we operate the two lunch hatches. We have one at this end, and we have one just on this side of the door, this end. They serve different types of lunches. We also use the lunch hall for break space, lunch space, and also for our magic breakfast that we offer every morning. Free for all pupils. Mm -hmm. You just come in, you can get bagels, fruit, um, all those different things. So when you come in in the morning, for most people, unless you come in from the front of the building, you will come in these doors here. Hall. This is the first area you'll come into. Down here at the end is the canteen area. This is where you get food. This is also where you get, um, they can get magic breakfast runs here first thing in the morning. You can get bagels, orange juice, cup of tea, fruit, open to everybody, it's free. Yeah, it's first thing at this end. This wall here and this door here is the entrance to the theatre, which is where you're likely to come first thing in the morning. So, having come upstairs from the dining hall, up these stairs here, we have these doors which i can't go through at the moment however through these doors on the left hand side we have modern languages and english and if you go through here on the right hand side you can access the re department okay i can't go through that at the moment because of quarantine however if you come this way along the corridor what we have are the library where well-being zone I'll take you through there in just a second. This is my room. I'm Mrs. McDonald. I am back. This is my room. This is where you come for access and well-being and support. Here are lockers for you to access. We also have a beautiful um, sort of peaceful garden in the middle that we can use. These doors here are the top exit for the theatre. You, you'll understand that. I'll go in in a minute and I'll show you that. We go through these doors. And this takes you along to Guidance. Now I'm going to take you around to Guidance just now. In fact, I'll go around to the end of the department first of all. So this here is Guidance, but I'll come back to that in a moment. Because when we come further along here, there is a staircase that takes you downstairs, um, down to Science and um, down to the office. So further along here, so it's very dark, the lights will come on in a moment. So the first section we come to would be the flexible learning classrooms, which are where you meet your PSC teacher, MPSE classes, where you meet with your guidance teachers. And we come through these doors, and we have the computing classrooms. Um, so this lets you know what we've got here. So the computing goes on up here. We do computing games design at various points, we do computing for most years. We also have business education um, that we learn in these classes. Just quickly let you look in these classrooms. Oh, you can't really see. So that's what's at this end of the corridor. We go down these stairs. So there are lots of stairs in this building, keeps you very fit moving about. So you come down these stairs. I'm hoping I'm not going to, oh, here we are. Oh, I'm going to stop just now. Right, so back in the next corridor, this is there's work going on at the moment, but this is the science corridor. Thank you. This is the science corridor. So these are all the science classrooms where we do um, chemistry, physics, biology. Lots of things going on down here. There's the classrooms. Oh, I'm going to pause again. Then we come back. This is the end of the science corridor. So this is us coming back out towards the dining hall. I'll show you where we've come back to. We'll come around and have a look. This is the downstairs for the garden. 
this is us back at the dining hall where we come in to start with. So I'm just going to take you back along here a second. So back along here takes us to the media department. Well, there's people in here, so I'll be very quick. So this is the media department. I'm not going to go along. This is the media department where you have music, drama and media. Can't go along there, so coming back out of the media department, you come along here. So this is back on the, still on the ground floor. You come back and along here, and this is the office area. Now, the office is where you'll come to if you have a problem with your card, if you're feeling unwell. This is also the medical area. So, usually you don't come down here very often, but you come down here if you have any questions to ask office staff. You'll come to this window, so I'm teaching just now. You come to this window. Ring the bell and someone will come and help you. When you're in the office space, in case you come in from the front of the school, this is usually, you normally would because you come around the back. This is the front office space. So this would be where you would come in. So this is the very front of the building. Normally it's only teachers who come in here, or visitors. Normally we use a pupil entrance at the side. And if you come in, for example, say you've had a doctor's appointment and you get a bit late to school, that's okay. You come in here, sign in with the ladies at the desk, and then head up to class. In the office space, you don't come here normally, but this is just to let you show what it is. Here is the management corridor. This is Mr McGee's room, Miss Crystal's room, Mrs Baird's room, and Mr Carter's room. Mr Carter's our business manager. He is the person who will help you with if you want to get a locker, if you want to... Um, have any issue with the school, but you'd normally go to the office or your uh, guidance teacher first of all. So, start from here again, so you remember where we've come from. Back from here, so this is us back from the dining hall. When we're coming through, my room again. And as I said, this is the wellbeing zone, which is the library, okay? Now, if you come in through the library, Mr. Spells has just gone out the building, I've just seen him, so obviously everything looks totally different just now. We've got lots of spaces to sit in. And we have books, this is Mr. Spells, where Mr. Spells normally sits. We've got lots of areas, obviously the shelves with the books, places to sit when you come in for your lesson in the library. We also have this space here, which is a chill out zone in the library. And what we do here is there's different things. For example, we offer therapy for some pupils. We get a dog in. We offer um, different things that we do. But this is a space that we use in the school. It's really useful, really helpful. Now, coming out the back. Now, you don't come out the back of the library. This is just where, we can, where you can come if you're instructed. Now, we have several people who offer support in the school. I'm going to go around and just show you them on a board in a minute. So we have Mr Milne. So this is his room. We have our EAL teachers, Miss Poon, um, who works in here. So she is in this room two days a week, I think it is. And we have Claire Gibson, who works with us also. She's a pupil support officer. We have support for learning. So this is the support for learning classroom. We have counsellors come into school who will use these interview rooms. And we have our careers advisor at the end here. Okay. Now, this corridor, this whole area, right from my room in the library round, is our guidance corridor. And our guidance room is all about you speaking to your pupil support leader and how the pupil support leader can help us. And I've just found one. Oh my goodness, Miss McKilt's painter here, Pink. I love. And this is the guidance room. This is the pupil support area. And this is where you will come if you have if you need to speak to your pupil support leader. Mrs. McKillop's going to wave us a hello with a beautiful new hairdo. Thank you. <laughs> so moving again on from the dining hall, since the dining hall is in use at the moment, you come around this corner, and this is going in the opposite direction to the one we had before. So these are the uh, pupil toilets here. They come through these doors, and the corridor splits into three areas. So straight ahead is the PE department. I'll go along and check that in a moment. Uh, down here is CDT, but I'll come along here first of all and show you this corridor. So this is our social subjects corridor, um, where they will help you study um, history or geography or modern studies. So they're all concentrated in this area. And then we come through here, and this is the maths corridor. 
So this is where you will study all your different math subjects. Now, um, head of maths. Oh, Miss Higgins is in. Hello, Miss Higgins. We're doing a video for the primary seven so they can see it before they come up for transition. Oh, so this is Megan saying, saying hello. So normally along here, Mr. Seawright, who's the head of maths, he's in this very end corridor up here. He's in this classroom. He often has plants along this corridor because it's nice and green, but uh, obviously he's taking them home during the lockdown to take care of them. Now, I'm not going to take you up because we have pupils in the area at the moment and I can't take you up. Upstairs, up these stairs, is the English department. Now, the English department looks exactly the same as this. It's just upstairs and their walls and their carpet, I think, are blue. I can't remember. But certainly, they're upstairs. So the English department is identical to this one. It's just upstairs, OK? When you're upstairs, you would come through the corridor and where we were at social sciences, that would be the languages department where we teach French, Spanish and Polish. So we have different people up there. OK, I'm just going to go along and we'll go to PE in just a moment. So this is us back at the end of the social sciences corridor. Back out to the main corridor again. And again, there's PE. But before we go to PE, we're going to go along here. And this is our home economics and a food tech and technical department. So we have two kitchens where we do cooking, various other things, cake decorating, various other things that we do, and um, food health. We also have a sewing room, fabric room, where we do different creative ta tasks as well. Um, some really fabulous things to do in here, also about health and hygiene we do. We also have CDT department, um, and what they do down here is we have a workshop. I'll show you briefly what the workshop looks like. And in the workshop, we do lots of woodwork, um, lots of different things. I think they do metal work. They certainly do some work with plastics, and they do different things so you can build things, which is really, really good. Some really good practical crafts to do in there. We also have, I'm just going to show you this room. I don't know if you can see the room with computers around outside the edge of the room. And we have other computers because... We do technical drawing, mm -hmm. so this is well, much. Oh, I'm going this other way. Um, we do technical drawing, and it's all about that. Would be if you're going to into sort of designs for designing products, and if you're doing design in, um, I'm going to do, for example, if you're going to build buildings, and go to that aspect. Now, that's the door along there that we came in beforehand but before we go there I'm just going to go show you this stairs so there's another stairway here excuse me I'll show how unfit I am going up these stairs so this stairway takes us up to the RE department and again just so you kind of get an idea of where we are that's the dining hall and that's the main entrance you come in so this is giving an idea of where we are in the building it's all in big circles so this is the Addy department. Now we have, oops, we have three Addy classrooms. We have one here and one here. And we also have one in the other corridor along there in modern languages, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, however, we also have this in here. I'll very quietly show you this room. Now this room is our oratory. So this is where we do mass. So on a Monday, Father Tony comes in at lunchtime and offers us service, um, which pupils can come along to. They just come in your lunch hour and it's actually really peaceful and really lovely. And often pupils are, can come in and just experience the peace and the quiet. This is used as a church, so obviously we're very respectful in here. And it's a lovely environment to be in. So, I'm going to go around just now and go to PE and show you where we are from there. So, here we are again. We've just come out of the CDT, CDT and HE department. Again, just so you're clear where we are. This is along to mod, uh, social subjects, modern studies, history, geography, and maths. This takes us back out to the dining hall. And here we are walking along to the PE department. Now, there's only one corridor, one access to the whole of the PE department from here. Because part of the PE department we share with foresters who are second, our school and extra to us. 
just so you're clear where we were. So we've just been to the maths department, which is the bottom of the building, and upstairs, so English is that white part, and this is modern studies at this end. So that's the, the bit that we couldn't get into today. So this is, and this is CDT department outside here at the moment. So this is the sort of glass walkway we walk through that takes us up to the PE department. Now, I don't know what's open today, but I'll try and let you see as much as we can. So, PE department is here. This is the office where the PE department staff are usually based. We have various changing rooms. We have some lockers also. We've got quite a lot of changing rooms for different classes. Okay, water fountain is obviously very important to hydrate when you're exercising. I'm going to walk in this door out the other one to let you see. So, this is the games hall. As you can see on the floor, it's marked out for... Um, now, this is where I'm going to get this wrong. I know it's marked out for basketball. I think it's marked out for badminton. And other sports, as you can tell, sport is not my forte. But that's the... James Hall, huge space, that's really, really good. But you have quite a great basketball team in school um, that people use, which is brilliant. We also have, here we are, an exercise suite. So as you can see, we have all of the equipment here that we use. We'll show, obviously, the most important thing is to use it safely. So obviously the teachers will take you through that. Um, it's a sprung floor, I think, in there, so you have to quite often do um, fitness classes. This is the gym hall. So clearly some of the equipment out for our kids are in this week. So quite a lot of space here. Again, always really nice bright rooms as well. And lots of equipment there to use. I'm just going to walk you around this corridor. So this is where, when we go around this corridor, this is where we join on to the Forester School. Um, but of course we tend mostly to keep the our half. So the reason we have a corridor joining us at the Forester School is because we share a swimming pool. So I'm going to take you around here and hopefully if there's no one in, I can stick my head in and show you where the swimming is. So here we are. So here we are, these are the changing rooms. All the changing rooms for the swimming area. I'm just going to stick my head in here and show you the pool, which is great. And here we have a swimming pool. It's fab. I'm dying to go and jump in, but I will resist because it is roughly roasting in here. We do also offer swimming classes. You know, swimming, uh, swimming um, like classes as in you can just swimming sessions, sorry. Um, on, I think it's a Monday for girls. And it's a... Um, Thursday for boys after straight after school you can come along no charge you just come along and join in to the swimming and it's a great opportunity just to blow off some steam before you go home okay so we go back around to PE just now and that's us okay um, I hope we got on fine so for the final bit of our tour, we've come out the front of the school building. So this is our main entrance here. This is the one we saw with the office on the inside. This is the main entrance you would use if you're coming in, as if you're coming late to school, you come in here so you can sign in. Um, or if you're coming in with visitors, if your parents come to school, this is where we come in. Now, that's not pupil entrance. That's usually where visitors are there or if you're late. During, in the morning, if you come in the front of the school, the pupil entrance is around here, literally. Over there, you just go in and go around the doors, the doors will be open for people to come in. Okay, from here, what we can see, we can see the maths and uh, social subjects departments on the bottom floor, English and modern languages on the top floor. In the middle, what we can see is we have the offices, the senior management corridor, are the first row buildings, the middle row, first row window, sorry, the middle row of windows are the library, and I've just realised I never took you up to the art department, that's on the top story, so the top windows you can see up there are our art department, um, we have two art teachers, it's a great department, loads of different things you could do up there, so you can get, experience them when you finally get to school, and on this side of the building, this is, at the front here is the office and the people support section, so now all of this office and people support staff um, are there and just sticking around the side of the building there that's where you can see the top story which is computing and business 
and what you can't see past the bike shed is the downstairs which is our science department okay so one last thing to show you the built the uh, access we have out the front so what we have here we are so lucky that we have some fantastic sports facilities here what we have is we have two 4G pitches, I'm saying 4G, I think that's what they are, two 4G pitches, huge, they, you can bring a ball in, use them at lunch, break time, whatever you like, they're really accessible. We also have a playing field at the front here, if any of you have done your P6 uh, games, this is where most of them take place, so we have these as well, and all of these facilities are all used for um, or by our uh, sports department, our uh, PE department. This path here is the path you'll come in if you get off the bus in Broomhouse Road. That's the path that brings you up from the bus at Broomhouse Road. Okay, so that is pretty much us done our tour. Hope you've managed to see what you want to see in the school. The most important thing is for the next week while that you keep yourself and your family safe um, because we want you to come up after the holidays. So we want you to be here. So we're looking forward to seeing you. Take care. Bye now.